Hi, today we're gonna talk about digital journaling, my opinion on it, the overall pros and cons that I found along the way while experimenting, which apps I use and all that. I got a few questions asking why I moved away from traditional journaling and honestly, I haven't. I still love my physical journals. This is more of an external tool that it's super convenient and I'm honestly so satisfied with the whole process that's why I wanted to share it uh, for me personally it works great and if you want a paperless option I think this is great and it gives you endless possibilities which we're gonna get into but first I want to introduce you to, to the main app I use, which is GoodNotes 5. I made my research and I found that this particular app was more convenient for me. I have to give full credit to this channel right here. Uh, it was super inspiring. This person has tons of templates and stickers. I think she uploads every single month, so you should definitely check the channel out. And of course, do your own research. This is an investment. Good notes it's a paid app i gotta say for me it's not super pricey and it's a great app a very practical one and you paid once and you have it forever so that's something that you have to decide for yourself to give you an idea of, of how much you can personalize your own experience with this I made these two very basic journals if you are interested in them for some kind of reason let me know and i will leave a link i made these very basic grid journal i don't write very easily on my ipad uh, i still gotta practice so i really wanted something with grid and then i created this weekly planner and this is the 2020 diary i am using i wanted to just show you kind of like the basic tools of good notes and how i use them so this is the main layout when you open one of your files. You're gonna have each one of them in different tabs if you open more than one. And then you have your editing tools right on the top. The first tool, I gotta be honest, I haven't used, but for what I've seen, it's kind of like a zooming in tool. So you can visualize more easily what you're writing. And then we have the brush pen. This comes with three options, Phantom Pen, Ball Pen and Brush Pen. So Phantom Pen has a little bit more of a control over the sensitivity of the pencil. Unlike the Ball Pen, that it's more of a constant width. I personally use this one the more because it looks a little bit more neat. And the Brush Pen, it has more pressure sensitivity so if you are good at calligraphy this is a great tool i'm really bad at it so i don't really use it and in addition to that you get three options for the colors that you can customize and you can set them as default you can go into the presets or you can go into custom where you can even put uh, hex colors if you are familiar with them. So this is really, really personalized. And then you get also three different widths to set. Again, this is great because you can change from one to the other very easily. Then we have an eraser with three different sizes that it's pretty straightforward. Then you have a highlighter, which is great. Again, it has three main colors and then diff three different sizes. Then the shape tool transform any weird doodle that you make into a more clean shape. Then this is the lasso tool or selection tool. I love this. It's pretty much you can select anything that you have done and like write and you can move it around. And then finally we get to the fun part, which is where I think digital journaling wins. You can go select any picture you want and then you can go 
to crop you can go into rectangle and freehand with rectangle you get very straight lines and the overall look it's pretty clean or with freehand you can you can simulate and sticker you can do any shape you want i'm doing this super fast please take all the time you want for it to look better <laughs> And this is where you can get super creative. You can even create washi tape. And of course, even though it's not gonna look anything like traditional journaling, I think it has a lot of character and you can do so many things. And if you are someone that illustrates or has any knowledge of Procreate, you can even make your own stickers and save them as PNG files. I keep mine on a particular file so I can bring it easily. Also, I've been using so many printables. I'm gonna leave all the links. I'm gonna keep going with this spread while I talk to you a bit of my overall opinion on digital journaling and who I think will benefit a lot from it. As I said before, this is not a replacement for traditional journaling for me. This is more of an extra tool, something to complement. But I gotta say, if you're someone that doesn't have access to maybe a stationery, even though you can still journal perfectly without any stationery, but if that's something that bothers you, this is a great tool. You can do so much. You can even have a wider creative space doing digital journaling than traditional. Also such a huge deal, you can actually erase things. You can move around things. Yes, you can kind of get around these things with traditional too, but not as easy as in digital. Of course, it's paperless, so you don't have to print anything. Also, maybe people that don't have time to put into a traditional journal. I think overall digital is a much quicker option. Of course, you can do it slower or whatever you want. You can put a lot of detail into it. Overall, I think it's a quicker pace than uh, traditional. The con, and, and I think it's a very important one, but I truly think it's the only one, it's that this is not a physical journal. <laughs> and I know it's gonna sound super dumb, but I do truly think the only downside of digital journaling it's that you don't have the nostalgia or the feeling or maybe the love that an actual journal brings. I love flipping through the pages. I go to my older journals and I have a sense of memory and ownership that I don't think I will really get with digital journaling. But I do think this is a great tool that you should be looking into. I would recommend a few channels I've seen that do digital journaling so you can go and inspire yourself because I know I haven't shown much in here. Uh, but yeah, I really would love to know your opinion on this. Uh, if you do digital journaling, how you find it. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna see you next time. And if you have any other questions, please let me know and I will answer it as quickly as I can. So yeah. I hope I will see you soon.